Namaste, friends, and welcome to day one of my 30-day meditation transformation program. I'm so excited that you've decided to take this journey with me because I truly believe that meditation is the most powerful, beautiful, and effective practice that anyone can develop. I've experienced in my own life, I've had so much transformation, so much release, so much growth through the simple practice of meditation. And this is what I want to share with you. It really has the potential to open up so much within. We can become more self-aware. We can become more powerful. We can become more driven, more perceptive, more compassionate, more gentle, more loving. Really, meditation reveals what needs to be revealed and drops what's not really a part of us. So it's such a beautiful practice to really step into a level of confidence with ourselves. And that's what I want to share with you in this program. And it's it's not easy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you all oh, meditation is the most easy thing. There's a reason it's the top of the mountain sort of practice. But I'm going to present it in a way that it should be very accessible. And the important thing is that we keep our inspiration, we keep our aspiration. So I'm going to share these benefits with you along the way. Scientific discoveries that are proving why meditation is so beneficial. Because it's these like things that drive us to keep practicing until we experience the results for ourselves. And once you experience the results, and I'm sure if you stick with this practice in as little as two weeks, and for sure by the end of the month, you will notice a change in the way that you're showing up in life. You will notice a change in the way that you're interacting with people, the way that you're communicating with yourself. It's, it's so simple, <laughs> but it's, it's so effective. I really hope that you persevere. I hope that you keep that inspiration to continue up the practice and I hope you tell me all about it. I really enjoy these uh, multi-day programs because I really like to interact with you. So if you have any questions, any comments, anything that you want to interact with me along the way, even if it's not in the time that we're doing this, I, I try to be really vigilant with the comment section. So challenge me, try to put a question that I can't answer, that I can't help you with. I will always try to give you the most honest, answer I can. If I don't have the answer, I'll give you that answer. Um, but yeah, let me know. Stay in touch with me. I really hope you enjoy this practice. Today, I'm not going to give you too many of the beautiful benefits and scientific discoveries but behind meditation because we've got some introductions to do. It's day one. So we're going to learn our first meditation technique. We're going to learn our first asana. And we're going to discuss something known as polarity. The the difference between the right and left orientation of the asana posture and why we want to balance these energies within ourselves. Okay, so first I'm going to introduce to you the meditation technique that we'll be using for the first five days of this program. Each five days we're going to go a little bit deeper into our meditation technique, but we want to take time to integrate it along the way. So the meditation technique that we're going to be using, like I said, is going to be an observing of the breath, witnessing of the breath. And the breath is a beautiful tool in meditation because we've always got it with us. It's something that's a part of our life, a part of our biorhythm. The breath changes depending on our state of being. When we're more tense, the breath is one way. When we're more relaxed, the breath is another way. Each breathing pattern has a specific emotion connected to it. So the more in tune we are with our breath, the more in tune we are with our self, with our state of being. And we can notice, oh, I'm breathing like this. Maybe I should think before I start a conversation with someone I love because maybe I'm too tense inside and won't come out correctly. So that's a beauty, beautiful benefit that can come with being aware of the breath. The breath is also something that we're not really emotionally connected to. In general, we're not like, Woo, I'm breathing. <laughs> we're like, oh, I don't want to breathe again. Unless there's something that's really disrupting our breath, like we have a cold or a stuffy nose or something. Usually the breath is just there. If we think about it, it's there. If we don't think about it, it's there. And it's, again, part of our biorhythm. So the more awareness we can bring to that most important quality of our life, the more tapped in we become with our life energy. I know some, probably a lot of you did the 30-day breath routine program and you, you saw how much power there is behind the breath. You can bring that power into your daily life just by developing this awareness of the breath. Okay, so the first technique to become aware of the flow of breath is we just want to witness the path of the breath. So we're going to be witnessing the breath come in through the nose, down the throat, down into the lungs and all the way down to the belly, down to the base of the diaphragm. And then we'll be witnessing the opposite as the breath leaves, the breath flowing up the throat 
and out the nose. It's just this, just feeling the sensation of the breath coming down and flowing up. And it might be difficult to feel the sensations at first because it's a very subtle sensation. Maybe you'll only be able to feel your belly moving in and out. That's okay. As we go further into this practice, your awareness will become more refined, your mind will become more quiet, and you'll be aware of more and more subtle sensations. As we do this, we want to just observe the natural rhythm of the breath. Okay, We don't want to try to control it. We want to just go into that natural biorhythm that's coming with the breath. So I know, especially in the beginning, it's, there's a big tendency when we become aware of the breath to hold it or to control it in a certain manner. So if that's the case for you, I recommend you just control the breath in what feels like the most natural rhythm for you. And eventually the body will take over and there will be this sort of detachment where the mind is able to witness as the body moves on its own. This is the first step of getting into that meditative state to be able to witness the natural flow of the breath. So we just witness in through the nose, down, up and out the nose. That's all it is. Okay, that's the first meditation technique that we'll be performing. And we're going to do this for 10 minutes. We're going to do it in a polar asana, meaning an asana that has both a left and right orientation or a yin and yang orientation. The first asana we're going to be performing is called Sukhasana. Sukhasana means the easy pose, the easy cross-legged pose. Now, what we're going to do, because we've got 10 minutes of meditation, 10 minutes to sit in one posture it can be a long time. And we also want to create balance and harmony. So we're going to sit for five minutes on one side, and then we're going to sit for five minutes on the other side, okay? This is going to help to create a balance within our energetic system. A lot of seasoned meditators can get in the habit of only sitting in one orientation. I know for myself, I often sit in the half lotus pose with the left leg on top. I know it's my go-to, it's the most easy one, I can sit there forever. But if I switch it with the right leg on top, it's a little bit less comfortable, you know. Or if I sit, sit in a different posture, it's a little bit more awkward. But it's really good to switch it up once in a while to become familiar with these other orientations because when we sit with the left leg on top or the right leg on top, it creates a different flow of energy in our body. And as yogis, as hatha yogis, we always wanna be working towards this balance. So it's really important that we balance both the right and left. So at least for the first half of this 30 day program, we're gonna be sitting for five minutes on one orientation and then for five minutes on the other orientation. So you have a little break in the middle to stretch out your legs if you want, and then we'll resume with the other five minutes. When we make the transition from one pose to the next, we don't wanna break our awareness completely and go from this really nice calm state, watching the breath, like, oh, oh, okay, oh, oh. <laughs> Try to do it as calm and with the attention internalized as possible. So we slowly shift from one posture to the next, okay? Keeping that attention inside. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera now so you can see the posture and then we'll get into it. So the first posture we're gonna be working with is known as Sukhasana, which means the comfortable pose or the easy pose. And even though it's the comfortable pose, if you need a block, a cushion, a rolled up blanket or a folded towel, take it and, and use it for support. You can place whatever you need under your hips, under your sacrum. You can place whatever you need under your knees. Nothing wrong with that. So to get into the posture, we're gonna start sitting on the floor, maybe with a block or cushion behind us in a open leg position. And then we're gonna bring our legs together. So the calves are crossing in front and we want the heels somewhere under the knees. This is the very typical cross-leg position that we sit in as children. Your heels might be further back, they might be further forward, it's okay. Rock side to side, try to find a comfortable seat. Press the seat down, reach the crown of the head up, roll the shoulders back and down, and take note of which leg you have in front. I haven't given any instruction because that'll be the more comfortable version for you. So we'll start for our first five minutes going into this posture. Then we'll slowly, gently switch the legs and we'll sit for another five minutes. Okay, your hands can be on the knees, palms down, 
palms up. It's completely up to you. It's raining now. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's going to be very refreshing for our, our meditation. Okay, <clears throat> so come to sitting, pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up, finding length in the spine. Close the eyes. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Soften the body. Softening into the posture. Again, take a deep inhalation. Open the mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Allowing that sigh to make noise and create subtle vibrations through the nervous system. Calming you into the present moment. We'll do one more deep breath, deep inhalation. And open the mouth, side out. Oh. Begin our meditation now, sitting with the eyes closed. Attention turned inside. Bring your awareness to the flow of breath. In through the nose down the throat, down into the belly. Feel the belly fall in as the breath moves up the throat and out the nose. And continue to observe your respiration. Feeling the breath entering the body. Feeling the breath exiting the body. Become aware of all the sensations of the air moving in the nose, down the throat, into the lungs. Feeling the belly relax, the breath exiting the lungs, up the throat and out the nose. If you find your mind is really noisy, it can help to mentally note to yourself what you're doing. As you inhale, you can mentally say, breathing in. And as you exhale, breathing out. Keeping awareness of the sensations, breathing in. Breathing out. With each breath, finding a deeper state of relaxation. And if at any point the mind starts to wander, that's okay. It's perfectly normal. Whenever you notice the mind has wandered, just know to yourself, I'm thinking, I'm coming back to the breath. And come back to the sensation of the breath, breathing in, breathing out. Softening into the present moment. The mind becoming more subtle. The body becoming more relaxed. Focused intently on the breath. Breathing in, breathing out.
witnessing the natural flow of breath. In the nose, down the throat, to the belly, from the belly, up the throat, and out the nose. Keeping the eyes closed, the attention inside, with full awareness, very slowly and gently, uncross your legs and cross them in the other orientation. Finding your way into the posture back into the rhythm of meditation, witnessing the breath in through the nose, down the throat, up the throat, and out the nose. Breathing in, breathing out. If at any point the mind wanders, noting to yourself, I am thinking, I'm coming back to the breath. With each breath, finding a deeper sense of calm, a deeper state of relaxation, going inside and becoming more aware of the sensations of the breath. Remaining present with every fine vibration 
every tingling sensation of the breath flowing in and out. Breathing in, breathing out. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Take a moment to notice where you are now after the practice, how you feel in your mind and body, your energy and emotions. Hmm. And tell yourself thank you for this time. Hmm. Gently coming back so that I can say thank you for joining me. Hope you had a beautiful experience. Let me know in the comments how day one was for you. If you have any questions you want me to answer in the upcoming days. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow for day two. Namaste.